Um, I looked up the line for the opening game. Miami of Florida is a 17 and a half point favorite over Miami of Ohio with over under a 46. Um, 46 and a half, excuse me. Um, I think if the Miami Hurricanes are to have the season that they desire, you need to hit that and, you know, cover that and hit the over um, on that. Uh, and like us, like the Kings driving the over, I don't want to have a damn, you know, 30 27 uh, win or whatever. I mean, that would be way over uh, at 57 total points on a 46 and a half. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have, or a, what, 28 21, that would still be over. I, you don't want that kind of over with not covering. So, um, you know, we'll see about that. But, you know, uh, I'm not going to go through the entire schedule, man. But I, I'm i still going to stick with seven and five proved me wrong. But Miami has seven home games and five road games this season. There's a reasonable path to think eight or nine wins. Uh, and I was having a conversation with a couple different friends on that point today. I'm not going to put those arguments forth and I'm not fully buying them as in, I'm not buying into them, but like, it's not necessarily a far leap of logic, but I, it just, it's going to take such an improvement in terms of performance from this team to be able to get to that level of, you know, cause I had one friend call me today. He's like, I, I think this team is like, you're going to, like etch it in stone nine plus uh, in the regular season. And I just, uh, sheesh, 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 sheesh. Um, I don't know about all that, but made a compelling argument. You know, th that's all I'll say. Um, not hundred percent bought in on it, but it exists. And it's not just the most random stuff you've ever heard. Is all I'll say. You talk about a team that uh, hovers around 500. The Red Hawks of Miami, six and seven last year, lost the Bahamas Bowl to UAB, a pretty good UAB team, 24 20. So it kept it close in that one. Year before, seven and six. Year before that, skip the COVID year. They only played three games. So again, starting in 2022, six and seven, seven and six, eight and six, six and six. So <laughs> they were right. a 500 program the last five seasons. In the MAC, seven offensive returning starters, nine on defense. They do have their top two rushers back, and their quarterback is back. Abion Smith, 11 touchdowns, five picks, and uh, their second leading receiver, although their top receiver had by far the most catches last season. So, a quick thumbnail on Miami. I think uh, most of them, us, most of us, are a bit void on our Miami of Ohio. At least I am. I'll admit myself. Uh, they're they're down the list in regards to my study efforts for the preparation of the twenty three season. Absolutely. All I remember is that the rapper Plies, uh, he played college football at Miami of Ohio before starting his rap career. Um, that's the fun fact singular that I have about the Miami Redhawks. So yeah, I have a less, a more conventional fun fact, not anywhere close to that nuance there, but I, I'm sure you're familiar with a uh, soon to be hall of fame quarterback from Miami of Ohio from the 2004 NFL draft. Indeed. Ben Roethlisberger. Yes. Who I, my cousin wanted to put him into the old NCAA video game, but you did not have the, like the length of letters uh, character limit for his last name. Uh, so my cousin named him Ben Roth, R-O-T-H, um, as his created player for a recruit going into NCAA whatever year, 05, 06, 07, whatever year it was that he uh, he did that. And speaking of uh, character limit, uh, also a Miami of Ohio product going back decades, but then later was the head coach at your former favorite team as a child, would be one Bo Schembechler. Indeed, Bo. Yes, and Schembechler Hall. Still there on the campus of the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. Mm. That's all I've got. Uh, Travis Prentice, who carried the mail for the uh, Cleveland Browns for a few seasons, was a running back product from Miami of Ohio. That's, that's what I've got. Yeah, that 
Yeah, I, that was maybe going to be, if I really searched my brain, the last thing that I was going to say. So I'm uh, sure they've littered the NFL with, I'm sure they typically have two or three players in the league would be my guess. Right. But I mean, how often are you scouring rosters for like the 52nd and 53rd guy, you know, which I would assume some of those guys were, but hey, yeah. whatever. 